Today the iPhone dev team released a new jailbreak for iPhone 4 and any other I and any other uh, device running iOS 4. Um, there's also a jailbreak for iPad 3.1.2 which uses the same jailbreak and it's quite simple actually all you have to do is unlock your device I'm on an iPod touch uh, second generation 8 gigabyte uh, focus there yep and all you have to do is go to Safari on your device and then go to jailbreakme.com and once you go there it will say it will, it will come up with this message right here on the website and it says you should sync with iTunes which you should probably do to back up your uh, device just in case something goes wrong um, and to just make sure everything syncs but all you have to do from here is just slide this and it should come up with a little box that uh, will give you various messages depending what stage it's at anyway a few problems that I should mention with this jailbreak is that once you jailbreak with this uh, MMS and FaceTime might stop working after jailbreak and also this server here might be down so I'll provide an alternate link uh, to an alternate server in the description another issue is that iPad iPads running 3.2.1 are not working properly right now and uh, if you're gonna try and do this you can always get the firmware file for 3.2 Anyway, while this is loading up, I should say that I did restore this iPad to its original settings, so the only things I had on it were my apps from iTunes and my music. Uh, other than that, it's completely uh, free of jailbreaks. I have jailbroken it plenty of times before, but it was not jailbroken, obviously, at the time I'm doing this. Otherwise, this would not work. And if you are on iPod Touch 2G, or iPhone 3G, you will not get custom wallpapers or multitasking with this. Uh, this only gives you Cydia, so you you can't choose uh, different options and also uh, custom boot logos. Okay, once the jailbreak is done, which should take around three or four minutes, it should say Cydia has been added to the home screen. Have fun. All you have to do is tap OK and go back to your home screen. Find it. It looks like this. And then once you go on it, uh, since it's the first time running, it should ask me what kind of layout I want. Yep, I'm just going to tap that one. And then it just should load Cydia like normal. Anyway, guys, uh, since my camera is about to die, uh, I better just make this quick. Thanks for watching this video. If you want to see more content like this, subscribe. And if you have a question or comment, uh, leave a comment down below. All the links I mentioned will be in the description. Uh, and thanks for watching. I'll see you in my next video.